there are many of them and then there are just few few ladies on board but uh yeah if you do if you do your job well then it shouldn't be a problem Anu loved her life at sea working her way up the ranks over many years but once she started a family she found it increasingly difficult oh no going away the children don't understand why, where she is and why, why is she so long time away. So it wasn't easy. It became kind of obvious that I need to have a shore-based job to continue. I wouldn't want to miss them growing up. But new tech may allow Anu to continue her career at sea while still coming home to her family each night. I went to Turku to get on board what is being called the future of shipping. Ships like these make up part of Finland's road network and complete millions of journeys every year. And I'm about to get on one that doesn't have a driver. This ship has been retrofitted with a variety of sensors and cameras which allow it to navigate by itself. It can set sail, complete the crossing and even dock itself, all without any human intervention. Anu has been heavily involved in the development of the tech. We have uh, object detection, which is uh, done by our intelligent awareness system, which is doing uh, sensor fusion. It's using AIS radar and camera to detect an object. This information is going to the autonomous navigation system, which is then the brains, who is kind of deciding whether these objects are dangerous for the vessel or not, and if we need to avoid them. So one of these little boats here, we're making sure we don't hit yeah. it, basically. Yeah, <laughs> we, are. we are. And we haven't hit it, which is always good, so it's working. <laughs> During testing, there's still a crew for safety, but it's a bit eerie knowing no one is in control. While ship's captains like Anu won't eventually be on board, they will be piloting multiple craft from the shore. Should something go wrong with an autonomous vessel, one of these places will be able to take control of it from onshore and steer it to safety, no matter where it was in the world. Rolls-Royce, who is behind the technology, believes in under 20 years, ultimately we'll see unmanned, fully autonomous ships crossing our oceans. Jobs are as ever one concern, but as with any piece of connected tech, a big worry is cybersecurity. What we have done is we have really put a lot of effort into cybersecurity from the very beginning of our remote autonomous development. I guess the other thing that immediately springs to mind is piracy. We can try to make it hard for pirates to get on board, but probably at some point they can enter the vessel. Uh, what you do then is, of course, you don't allow them to take control of the vessel. By not giving the access to the system, they basically cannot steer the vessel. So the only, their only option is actually to dis, uh, disable the machinery and stop the vessel. And having a ship floating in the middle of the ocean without propulsion is not easy. This technology may never be a substitute for the romance of the sea, but it could let people like Anu balance the life they want using their years of training and expertise with family life. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. You can see them every day and uh, enjoy this kind of life as well.